Good afternoon. It is Tuesday the 22nd of December. I am Amanda Fowler. This is the Inspiring Inkin Facebook page. If you are here, please say hello. Um, I'm just going to get set up. Just double check. I am live where I need to be. If you are here, please say hello. Yep. It looks like I'm here. It looks like I'm live. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Right, let's see. Let's get that sorted, get my iPad sorted so I can see your comments, grab my coffee. <sighs> I'm here. I'm sorry, I'm a couple of minutes late. I've been racing around the house and then I just said to Brian, I said, but they can't start without me. So it's all right. <laughs> it might be there, but they can't start without me. So yeah. So I uh, apologies for being a couple of minutes late in case you um, were worried where I was. Okay, good. Jackie says it all sounds okay. Right, I don't know what's happened with this at all. Hang on. That looks a bit better. Ooh. <laughs> keep smiling. Yes, keep smiling. We've all got to keep smiling. Doesn't matter what happens, then keep smiling. Right. Um, how are we? How are we? It's a very different world to the world we were in last week, wasn't it? The last week we were full of hope. <laughs> for Christmas festivities and all sorts of things and now we are in a different world um, certainly those of us in the UK anyway um, but that's okay the most important thing is we keep everybody safe isn't it that's you know in this whole crazy world that we are in that's what we want to do we want to keep people safe so yeah it's all a bit all a bit tricky so um, what I, <laughs> what I thought I'd chat to you about, I'll catch you up on kind of where we are and, and what's going on with us. Um, but I always like to give you a question so you can type some things in the, in the boxes. Um, so my first question is, are you, what, what are you having for your main course on Christmas day? Yeah, like your, your main meal. Not everything, but you know. What meat or plant-based alternative, vegetarian alternative, what, what, what's the main, what is your main dish? That's the first thing. And the second thing is, do you like Christmas scented candles? Which I think is a really, is a really interesting, interesting one. Um, so yes. So if you have any favourite Christmas scented candles, or any kind of candle, scented candle really, um, pop that in as well and I'll read them all out. So I was trying to remember what's happened since last Tuesday. And so much, <laughs> so much has happened. Um, so the kids were coming for Christmas. Um, I have now banned them, blessed them. Um, they live too far away. They, they can't get here and back in a day. It would be bonkers. Um, and slightly more alarming, going back to the whole we need to keep everyone safe, is that where I live is surrounded by tier four. So I live in Fareham, um, which is kind of halfway between Portsmouth and Southampton on the south coast. And yeah, to the north and west of us is all tier four, to the south of us is tier four. Um, and to be honest, you know, the the towns all kind of merge one into another. And yeah, so I think I think it's probably safest not to be travelling into this area currently. Um, Brian and I are not going anywhere. <laughs> so we're very happy here in our little house going out for walks with the dog. Um, I went to yoga yesterday, but that's finished now for two weeks. And yeah, I'm 
and that's it so we are going to be hunkered down the two of us eating chocolate watching movies and walking the dog actually it's good we could have a good rest i think that that's the thing we'll be building things that's what will happen so brian's been building stuff in the garage um, made some beautiful light and I promise the the jungle room those of you might remember my first studio um, the jungle room is pretty much finished so I will share some pictures in the new year of it it's amazing it's really lovely and um, so he's been building lights to go in there which are very very cool um, and yeah we've got other household stuff to do a bit of painting to do you know stuff to keep us busy um so yeah i i i don't know what was i saying oh i know what i was saying that i was going to do last week that was get all the catalogs ready well up hat you <laughs> can't even say it ups has had a bit of a problem one of, one of my parcels was destroyed i don't even know that that's like a thing um so that had all my catalogues in it. It was destroyed. So I don't know what happened. It obviously fell off a truck or something. Um, so Stamping Office sent me a new one of those. And then another parcel completely vamoosed, disappeared. Um, they said it was delivered and it was never delivered. It never arrived here. So they've sent me another one of those. So normally by now all the catalogues for the 5th of January launch would be labelled and bagged up and everything else. Um, they might be here by Christmas Eve. So we'll probably get on to that after Christmas, um, between Christmas and New Year. But I'm not doing it, not doing it this side of Christmas. So there you go. So so it's been a bit bit busy trying to sort all of that out. Um, and obviously we've got the issue currently now with deliveries not getting through anyway because of the port situation. But hopefully that's getting sorted out soon. So yeah, so all my parcels are done. Everything's wrapped. Everything's been sent where it needs to go. It's not all there yet, but it's all on its way. Um, and we, in answer to my, answering my own question, we are having beef for Christmas dinner, which is unheard of because I love turkey. The best bit of Christmas dinner to me is the turkey sandwich at tea time. But we decided that we'll leave the turkey in the freezer where it is. And when we have Christmas with the kids, then we'll have the turkey then. <sighs> so that's a lot to say, isn't it? Right, so what I'm going to do is scroll back up and read all your messages. Do you like my Santa hat? This bobble is kind of sticking in my ear. Right, so who is here? My mum's here, Janet's here, Michelle's here, Jen's here, Lisa's here, Marion's here. Marion, are you locked down again? Because some of Australia's locked down again, aren't they? Mum's saying afternoon, Sue's saying hello, Sue, I saw that you'd had, a, you'd sent me a text, um, yeah, I was dashing around, so I will reply later, hi Jackie and Chris, Chris, have you sorted out your phone? Scylla says hello, happy Christmas to everyone, Janet saying happy Christmas to everyone, keep smiling like our lovely Amanda. Yes, so it's very hot in Perth, says Marion. Sarah's saying Merry Christmas. Hello, Sarah. Hi, Jan. Chris is having fish. Are you going to be more specific, Chris? What kind of fish? Jeanette, I am fine. I am fine, actually. It's really funny because when I was thinking about what we were going to talk about today, I was thinking, actually, I could, I could just be miffed and grumpy because the kids aren't coming um you know i can't go and see my parents and i can't go and see brian's parents you can't you know can't do any of any of the things that i would want to do at christmas which is family stuff i can't do but it's one day in the year and we're just postponing it so it's fine um 
you know, as soon as the vaccine comes and we can get my parents jabbed and Brian's parents jabbed, that'll be good. <laughs> that'll be that'll be good. Then I can visit and not worry too much. Um, but um, yeah, and I think probably one of the main reasons I've stayed sane and smiling is because I get to talk to you guys on a Tuesday afternoon. And the reality is, you don't want to see me miserable. So I know you're gonna be happy and smiley with me too. So yeah, so you make me smile, I make you smile. It's a win-win, isn't it? Right, so let's have a look. Ooh, Sue's having fillet steak. Um, and she loves Christmas spiced candles. Hi, Maureen. Ooh, Janet's having turkey crown with all the usual and of course Christmas pudding with got to be custard. Right, so there is a whole nother conversation. What do you have with your Christmas pudding? For me, it has to be thick cream. That's what I have with my Christmas pudding. Oh no, Jackie's saying Sainsbury's failed to deliver their turkey crown. Yeah, mum, you had that problem, didn't you? As for substitution, not even a chicken leg. Oh. Um, so, can you can you go locally? Because that's what my mum did, Jackie. She went to a, like a, a local co-op and actually they had stuff. Local walk. Jeanette's having a turkey crown. Oh, yummy. Lisa's having butternut, almond and pecan nut roast and no pork pigs in duvets. She's in Kent tier four, so quiet Christmas here, but happy to be keeping safe. Yeah, exactly. That sounds really, really yummy. Um, yeah, I made um, no pork pigs in blankets for Kim last Christmas. So... So yeah, we, um, she had, what did we make for her? Um, oh, a mushroom wellington. That was really, really lovely. So um, my daughter Kimberly is um, a vegetarian, but she also, she can't eat dairy. So she's not vegan, um, but yeah, so we just have to we, jiggle around. But it's just good because we eat all sorts of different things. Sarah, no, I'm not tier four, but three miles down the road is. So, and everybody from that area shops in the area that I live in. So we may as well be in tier four. Um, Jan saying that they're in tier four in Buckinghamshire. They're staying at home. Fish pie. Um, for Jan because her turkey was due to be collected in Oxford. No, and you can't go. Hi Debbie, she's in Minnesota. Right, so Marion's saying she's in Perth. It's Sydney that's having the problems. So Chris has sorted out her phone. Ooh, Dover Soul. Thick cream, Christmas pudding and custard. You see, that's two votes for thick cream and two votes for custard. Ooh, turkey, stuffing with hazelnuts and apples, mashed potatoes and gravy. <gasps> yeah, roast potatoes and mashed potatoes, even though there's two of us. Oh, Christmas pudding with custard and maybe ice cream. Maureen's having steak. Little in Porchester had lots of turkeys this morning. So there you go, Jackie. Try a little brandy sauce with Christmas pudding. You see? Yeah. Christmas Christmas pudding divides divides the nation, I think. It's funny, we've got Christmas pudding for four, and I can guarantee Brian and I'll eat it all. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we'll be eating that so we're having beef because I had a small beef joint um, so that's in the freezer so we'll have that we did contemplate having steak but 
I needed to have roast potatoes and I, yeah I wasn't really feeling feeling the love of roast potatoes with steak so um, yeah so we're having roast roast beef and that means then I can have a roast beef a roast beef and horseradish sauce with gravy sandwich that's probably a bit weird but I do I pour gravy over the bread <gasps> Yorkshire pudding oh yes Yorkshire pudding and actually Lisa I make Yorkshire pudding with soya milk um and it makes the best Yorkshire pudding love Yorkshire pudding so I have Yorkshire pudding with beef but not with not with turkey so I wouldn't have it with Christmas dinner but I will have it with beef so Anne's arrived <laughs> oh dear yeah and and I will make <laughs> tell you all my secrets I will make 12 Christmas puddings and I appreciate a Christmas pudding Yorkshire pudding and I appreciate there are only two of us and Brian will probably have two with his dinner I will probably have one with my dinner and the other nine I will eat cold with either lemon curd for breakfast or thick cream and golden syrup at any time of the day just for a snack Nigel Slater's toad recipe actually it's got two eggs and it's half milk half water but I use half soy milk half water and that works and Sue's saying golden syrup yes definitely and Janet's saying make at least 12 and share with just the two of them yeah you see I'm pleased I'm not my I'm not the only one <laughs> I think I deserve some treats yeah but I don't want to I don't want to roll out of here Jackie you know when when the end is when the end has come and we we can all we are all released and go and do all that hugging that we've got pent up nobody will be able to get their arms around me because i'll have eaten all the yorkshire puddings yeah lots of people saying yes to golden syrup golden syrup <laughs> chris is saying i have such a sweet tooth oh chris you have no idea no idea it's yeah i give me all the cake all the sweets um all the chocolates although yeah you see i'm a bit fussy about my chocolate i like dark chocolate <laughs> i probably won't turn my nose up at milk chocolate but if i have a choice i would always go with the dark chocolate depends how desperate i am ew so Debbie's saying her husband is Swedish and he likes loot fish at this time of year. She doesn't eat it, but she'll make some for him. So what, what, what is it? How do you, if you make it, you must, you must know how to make it. So, so what is it? Jan's saying that she likes milk chocolate and Sue's saying dark chocolate always. And Sarah's making sticky gingerbread. <gasps> like parking sarah proper proper cake gingerbread um yeah you see that's amazing that's golden syrup and dark treacle and all those things oh that's lovely warm with custard <laughs> oh dear right so I did have some other things to talk to you about today and I I do I do have a project to share with you today which could all go horribly wrong because I don't actually have a sample but I thought you know we could have a play it'll be fine cod soaked in lye what's lye Debbie she says it's horrible <laughs> 
Sarah's saying she'll take any chocolate. Claire's saying she loves roast beef, but she likes horseradish. She's got too much food for the three of us. She's got a turkey for nine people and a roast ham. Oh yeah, we've got we've got ham in the freezer as well. <laughs> but gammon that I haven't cooked yet. She thinks she'll be going up a size. Oh, Jackie's got some real tablet from a local maker as a treat for Christmas. So is that like um, like a fudge tablet? It's more brittle, isn't it? Oh, Chris is saying she likes dark chocolate better than milk chocolate, but would rather eat nuts and sweets. Yep, you see, <laughs> Chris, I would eat those too. So I just love food. In whatever guise it is, pretty much. Um, but I, I would eat sweet food over savoury, apart from one thing, and that's cheese. And I would eat every type of cheese there ever is, forever. Um, apart from, interestingly, full on blue cheese. Not a fan. I like Stilton's, um, but white Stilton's, not the blue vein Stilton's, but pretty much anything else. Um, Sarah's in the right place in France, the best cheese ever. Um, apart from Lincoln, so my British cheese favourites, Lincolnshire Poacher, which is an unpasteurised treat cheese, which is amazing, um, and really strong cheddar. Um, but after that, I'll take all the French cheeses. Marion saying that chocolate melts where she is at Christmas time, so it's in the fridge or it gets eaten quickly. Yes, yeah, Scottish tablet. Hi, Val. Okay, so. So the reason, <laughs> the reason that I haven't got a sample for you today was because my plan today was to talk to you all about setting a nice Christmas table and place settings and crackers and all of that. And I know that for most of us, it's like two or three of us. And we still need to do that, I think. I think we do need to make it special. Um, but I decided that I was going to do a card instead. Um... Yeah, yeah, Sarah's saying Britain has lots of cheeses. Yeah, but uh, any cheese, Sarah, I'll take any cheese. <laughs> all the British cheeses, all the French cheeses, all the cheese. Right, so what I did want to talk to you about, though, was candles. Christmas candles. So, I love scented candles and I love um, aromatherapy oils and essential oils and I have a diffuser um, and I have scented oils in the house all the time um, depending on my mood and you know what's going on so I I love that but I also I love candlelight and I love having scented candles at Christmas and for years I had um, a Christmas pudding scented candle which I adored and since then the company stopped making it and I haven't been able to find a Christmas scented candle so what does Christmas smell like <laughs> it's kind of the next question isn't it really um and so the Christmas pudding candle that I had was very citrusy and cinnamon and clove and ginger and orange, citrus, lemon, citrus. Um, and that's what I love. I don't like a really sweet, like cloying kind of smell. Um, so I've been looking and looking and looking for years. And then um, a friend recommended this one, which looks really interesting, doesn't it? But, oh. So, this is from the White Company. This is not a cheap candle. 
but I bought it in the Black Friday sales and I had like a sign up for the subscription and you get 20% off kind of thing. Um, so they have them like this, this is like a church type candle, but they also have them in the jars, um, which are really lovely. And it's called Winter. And it smells, it, um, I don't know whether it actually says on here, it might. It's got like a sticky label at the bottom, hang on. If I'd have thought about that earlier, I could have unpiggled it. Oh, and that's me using my laws and words again. Piggling, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, means peeling, peeling things off. Okay, so, it doesn't say, that's really not helpful. Okay, so it's called Winter and it's orange, cinnamon, hang on, I'll tell you exactly what it is. So, my company, Ooh. Winter Candle, okay. Okay, so it comes in cinnamon, so the, the, the winter smell is cinnamon, clove and orange. Oh, it's amazing. So I burnt it for, I don't know, about three hours yesterday and for me, the candle, whenever I have a scented candle, I want it to fragrance the whole of the downstairs and all of our downstairs is all open plan. So if it's not a decent scent, um, if there's not good essential oils in the candle, then it just, it won't fragrance it. And that candle just with one wick did our entire downstairs and I blew it out about nine o'clock and you could still smell the candle at 10 o'clock before we went to bed. And when I got up this morning and even today, downstairs is still scented. So I'm really impressed with that. But then I got as well this. So this is a little tiny votive. It's also from the White Company and it's called Fir Tree. And what is it? So it's a eucalyptus, pine and cedar. And we don't have a real Christmas tree. Um, we have a very, very ancient um, artificial tree. Um, but I do quite often have um, pine and, and cedar scents um, in my diffuser. But I've got that as well. So if you want some really nice smelling candles the white company but find yourself some vouchers okay oh sarah's put the link in yeah just really really lovely um yeah really good so let's have a look oh janet says lovely cheese anytime ex except stinking bishop oh yeah so my sister-in-law lives um, in France and there is one cheese that she's not allowed to bring because it's it's so bad it it makes a whole fridge smell um, Val saying cheese and table decorations is a must at Christmas um, Donna's wishing everyone a uh, Merry Christmas from down under Judith, hello. Judith, is it your birthday today or yesterday or tomorrow? I'm confused. <laughs> what day is it? When's it your birthday, Judith? Soon. Oh, gosh. Sarah says she needs a candle because her house smells of oil as they're having the boiler changed. That's, oh, that's a, oh, Sarah, does that mean you've got no heating? Have you still got snow? That would be the other thing. Um, and 
so going back to the whole table decoration thing, several of my friends have the most amazing kind of interior design skills. And, you know, on Instagram, you look at pictures of these beautiful tables with with candles and greenery and baubles and just, you know, um, I think they're called chargers, aren't they? The bigger plates and and, you know, four wine glasses and all of that. And they look beautiful. But and I know it's because I love food. I just look at the table and go, well, where am I going to put my roast potatoes? There's no room on that table for my five vegetables and my roast potatoes and my pigs in blankets, which we will be having, even with our roast beef, and my Yorkshire puddings and my mashed potatoes. Where am I going to put it? Brian and I, our table, we've got a, it's a square that the leaf folds out and you can comfortably sit eight at it. I will have opened up the table for the two of us just so I can get all the vegetables on. Just, you know. And I've got to cook enough anyway so that we can have squeak on Boxing Day. So that's good. Right. Oh, okay. Oh no, Sarah's got no heating and no hot water. That's not good. I hope they get it sorted soon. Okay, so shall we do a bit of card making? Shall we do a bit of card making? I think that will be good. Um, I've got a, a little style of card. Ooh, that's a point. Where's my tri oh my trimmer's there? Um, yeah, I've got a different style of card. And I'm just looking and thinking, <gasps> have I brought everything upstairs? And the answer is no. <gasps> I'm going to have to go downstairs. I haven't had to do that for ages. But I am going to have to go downstairs. Because I need some patterned paper and I haven't brought it upstairs. I don't know how I didn't do that. Okay, so can you just talk amongst yourselves for about a minute while I run downstairs? I'll be back. Oh, and don't worry about the cough. I'm fine. Um, oh, the cheese collect. Sarah, uh, sorry, Lisa said she got her husband a cheese box for Christmas from the cheese collective. It's labelled for seven people. He's the only one that will eat it. We need some really long walks. Yeah, I would love that. Maureen, the advent candle. What, the one that I completely melted? <laughs> do you mean that one? Or do you mean this one that I... This smelly one? Maureen, tell me. Which one do you mean? 
I made you smile very widely. Judith, I'm pleased. I'm pleased. Right, I'm going to have a slurp of my coffee and then I will make this come. The melted one. <laughs> um, I bought it this year. I bought it from Lakeland and it came actually with like a little glass holder. But over the years, I tend to buy them from the garden centre. So, Maureen, you're just up the road, aren't you? So I used to get mine from Gartens um, or Abbey, the garden centres. Uh, or even Haskins out um, at West End. Um, I've got them there as well. So locally, that's where I would get them from. And actually, you can probably Amazon or, or eBay, potentially. Um, but I decided, <laughs> I decided I wasn't going to get another one. I, I thought one for a year would be a good plan. Um, and I've been waiting for weeks for these white company candles to ship. And they literally arrived yesterday. So, yeah, it's very cool. Right, okay, so. <gasps> I've got something else to show you. Have you got anywhere else to be today? Because I could be a while. Look. Look. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have lots and lots and lots of cards to show you. Right, so who's this one from? Sharon. <gasps> Look at that. And she's made she's made a wreath um, with the stamparatus. She's stamped around, 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 around really cool this one's from Jeanette um, and she's embossed this lovely lovely tree and done this really cool background as well very lovely um this one is from wendy i love reading the comments they're so lovely so thank you so much wendy for this lovely card this one is from daphne these rounded edges I must do that more it's one of those one of those things that it's when you see someone else's card and you think oh, I should be doing that why am I not doing that this one is from Trevor This one is from the lovely Kerry. Lots of texture. This is a lovely congratulations card from Susan. Congratulating me on my uh, recent stamping up ranking. from Sally with the moose this one is from Susan I've missed this tree stamp set completely in the catalogue 
really pretty. This one is from Sue, and I know Sue is here. And it's got a belly band on it. And look. Da, 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 da. Really cool. Daphne saying she's just seen her card. I know. Thank you, Daphne. And oh no, Sarah, stamping up have sent her shark frenzy instead of the stitch so sweetly dies. Just a little bit different. Yes, yeah, so there is, this is, this is a sneak peek piece of information. Um, for those of you that have children or grandchildren who love the baby shark song, and I'm not going to sing it because it'll be in everybody's head forever. We have some sharks and a mummy shark and a daddy shark and a baby shark and all the words. You're going to love it. They're going to love it. Um, and then this one, who's this one from? Alison. So this one, look, look at this. Look at this, look at this, look at this. How cool is that? How cool is that? And when I, because, because you know, I always want to know how things are made. Um, and it's actually three strips of cardstock stuck together. Um, I will be chatting to Alison making sure that I work out how to make it very pretty. Uh, this one is from Lynn, which is really lovely. And Lynn, um, I, I meant to say this before, Lynn always posts her cards and this is really cool, this is top tip. Lynn always posts her cards like that. So, You've got all the embellishments here and she folds that bit over so that the embellishments are on the inside. So it protects the embellishments from the machinery because I'm sure you all know this, but the way um, the post office now sorts the mail, it goes through what I can only describe as a tumble dryer. And the post goes round and round and round and round and round and kind of slides through the slots and um, if it's if it's not skinny enough then it goes through to the next section but it kind of gets tumbled and squashed so it's a really cool cool idea um, this one's from the lovely Wendy This one, Ooh. this is from Roz, she's saying she can't wait until the, the classes start up again, I can't wait either Roz, that would be awesome, but don't worry I'm not going anywhere, I'm going to still, still be here in the computer. Um, this one, Maureen's here as well, this one is from Maureen, look at the amazing patchwork patchwork <laughs> Maureen I'm so sorry parchment it's so beautiful it's it's it, it's so delicate and she's she's individually snipped all those little teeny weeny little bits it's amazing one more here we go this one is from Ivy, which is really lovely. This lovely banner and the tartan. So, there you go. So, aren't I the lucky girl? Um, every day the postman's bringing more, so I'm very, very excited. And yes, I will be stealing all your ideas 
so thank you very much for <laughs> posting them to me um yeah i just bleh. you cannot underestimate the power of a card it makes such a difference um and all the lovely things that you've written in there so thank you thank you to you all for for doing that but thank you to you all for kind of hanging out with me for the past nine months can you believe it and we're only what 10 days away from this year being over so not that long to go right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn the camera around um and show you what well no make a card with you as opposed to show you what we're doing because i can't show you because i haven't done it yet um but it before i do that i just want to say merry christmas and i will see you before the new year so i will see you next tuesday and um for those of you that are doing the craft along um that will be next tuesday as well at seven o'clock in the inspiring thinking crafting corner group all of the kits went out last week they haven't got there yet so they are on their way um obviously Royal Mail is buckling under the strain, unsurprisingly. Um, it was always going to be a busy Christmas, but obviously the news a few days ago um, meant, has meant that even more post is in the system. They were sent first class, so they should be with you very soon. And I'm hoping that people are going to start sending me messages and saying it, it will arrive. Um, so... So a Merry Christmas to one and all. I hope you have a bit of time to chill out because I think if nothing else, that is what we all need to do over the, the coming week, really. Um, that's certainly what I'm going to be doing. So I just I just want to say that while I was I could I can I can still now I can still see your face. No, no. you can see my face. Is what I'm trying to say. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Right. So I <laughs> I really am going to turn the camera around, and um, then we will make some cards. And I'm, it's like a stash buster. So you know, we all need a good stash buster going on. So right. So I'm going to turn the camera around. So don't go anywhere because there is crafting coming now. Okay. Right. Okay. Right, let's see. Okay, you can see my candles. I've got to show you my candle plate. <laughs> How cool is that? How cool is that? So this is one of my nibbles plates. So normally on Christmas Eve, we have all the neighbours round and local friends round and I've got all these lovely Christmas nibbly plate things. Very festive and clearly they're not going to get used for nibbles. So they're used for a candle instead. <laughs> okay, right. So I need to take my smelly candles out of the way. And, um, okay, so, I have got Christmassy things, mainly because they were the colours I wanted to use, and I worked, um, I worked on, yeah, so these are the colours I wanted to use. So I knew that the Snowflake Splendour paper would be the right one to go with it. So, um, so that's what I did. Let's have a look. Um, Judith wants to see my most recent crochet project. Um, yes, J 
Judith, I will bring it upstairs next week. Um, it's about that tall at the moment. <laughs> What's that, about three inches? I think I'm on row 16. Um, but it's mainly half double crochet. So the body of it will work up really quickly. Um, but there are two um, textured panels and they're really pretty. So I am really, really looking forward to it. Uh, really enjoying making it. Um, so yes, I will bring it. So, um, yeah, snowflake wishes. So what I have is circles. And what we are going to do with these circles is hope and pray that Amanda's got a pair of scissors upstairs. Yes, that's okay. I have two pairs of scissors, so we're all right. And what we are going to do with the scissors is we are going to chop up these circles. Now, let me show you what I've got. So these circles are all from... I'm just matching up the colours. Um, so these circles are all from the stitched shapes dies. And this is such, such a useful set of dies. So there are four squares, four ovals and four circles. Um, and the, the name, the, the, the clue is in the name, stitched shapes. So they've got this beautiful stitched edging. And what we're going to do is we're going to play around with these circles and make different patterns. Now, when I was cutting them, I cut all four together because it's really important um, that you've got a big and a little in the same colour and you'll see sort of why that is important in a few minutes um, but cut like lots of different sizes so I've done it in plain paper today or plain cardstock should I say um, but this this works really well with patterned papers as well. So, um, you know, you know those little small bits of paper that we save? This will work really well for those. Okay, so you can cut them in half using your scissors or your trimmer. It's up to you. Um, but what I'm going to do is I am going to use just my scissors, that one, and then that one. And we'll start out with that. Okay. So... What we're going to do is, once we cut them in half, we are going to reassemble them. So, if you line up the edge of the circle with the edge of the circle, like so, and then this one, and then this one, you can then line up this and you can play with this like this and like this and like this Ooh. and you can make some really cool patterns 
So that's one way of assembling them. Obviously you can stick them together without um, without chopping them in half. What you can also do is flip it around so that you end up with the smaller circles. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do in reverse. So let's show you. So we've got that size and that size and that size. And then we're going to go with a smaller one. So we're going to go this way with that smaller one. And then the other one is the other way round. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so, hang on, let me just flip this. Let me just put that like that. Needs to be halfway. There we go. So then that will overlap halfway. I need the other colours. So you'll end up with that being a hole. like so. So there are lots of different ways we can assemble these. I will show you more of those as, as we, we go through. But basically you, the essence of it is, just get some paper out, um, the essence of it is that you are going to play around with the patterns. I'm just trying to see, yeah we'll go with that one, which way round we have got okay so let me just flip that and I need to get some white card and do some sentiments as well but <laughs> you're just gonna have to give me a second because there's something else I haven't got now so <laughs> oh dear I will be back it's gonna be one of those days definitely one of those days. Okay, so we decided, going with this one and this one, and who else has arrived? Kim has arrived, so my daughter is in the house. And Judas is saying it's going to keep me fit. Yeah, it's going to it's going to mean that I can eat all that cheese and all those Yorkshire puddings. And let's see if I can get this snowflake out. It does. No, that one is tearing. Okay. I wish it would get me fit actually. 
and we're going to have to do yoga in the front room for the next few weeks because um, that's not running over the Christmas period. Oop. There we go. Hurrah! I have a snowflake. I just love these snowflakes. So I've got one. Let me just pop this one out as well whilst I'm. Um, Whilst I'm sorting this out. Oh, Debbie's saying she's misplaced one of her square dies. I know how you feel, Debbie. I, I've done that with a few dies. Um, but I have to say, it's worth going through your other dies so if you've got the the standard squares debbie could have got tucked in there because that's where i found one of my circles it was in one of the other circle dies bags boxes that's yeah that's where it was have i got oh yeah so you say, Jackie's saying, have you got nesting squares to Debbie? It could be in there. Right. So let's just do that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go with, I think, the pool party and the mint macaron and the white on this one. I'm going to do two two variants. Um, so so for this one, I've got to cut these as well. So I think we are going to go sideways. And work with these three. Okay. So I've got my three there. And then I'm like I said, I'm putting that on there. And then what you're going to do is you're matching up this bit with this bit so it's actually going to match here on the outer edge no hang on no i'm wrong <gasps> that's not what i meant hang on it's a good job you know that we're we're kind of doing this doing this on the fly let me show you. Let's do this properly. So I've got my three there. I've now got the big one and that is going to match there with that one. The middle sized one is going to go there like that. So let's move that over a bit. So those two join. And then we want the littler one, so it's that one. <laughs> Jackie's, Jackie's going, she had the same problem. Right. And then that one goes there like that. I got there in the end. <laughs> it took me a minute. I knew what I meant to do. It was just I didn't quite get there. So... So let's kind of run through that again so that it all makes sense to you guys. Let me just rescue my snowflakes. Just got squished. Um, okay, so I've got a whole large one in white and in mint. I've got... A smaller one in white, a smaller one in mint, 
And then I've got a whole one. It's actually this size of pool party. So what you will need is, so you kind of, you're going to make two cards. That's the easiest way to do it. So the pool party layer, you would need two whole ones of that. A large circle of the mint, a large circle of the white, and then the smaller circle of the mint and the white. Okay? I hope that makes sense. What I will do is I will um, do a picture of what you need to make the card if that makes sense so which circles are used um but it's the most important thing is that you've got the the large circle the largest and the smallest you've got in both in two colors and then the one in the center can be just one color Okay, and so long as, as you're sticking this down, so long as that edge is matching there, these will then be even. I didn't lose the plot, Gillian, because <laughs> this is how my crafting world is. Um, yeah, this is, this is the reality of my crafting world because I know what it is I'm trying to do and it's just, I just need to get there, but sometimes it just doesn't quite go according to plan. So let's do a little strip of paper. And then I can stamp the sentiment and you need to be able to stamp your sentiment. Is that going to fit on there? So you need a sentiment that's going to go over that bit in the centre. Yeah, so that you can hide what your, the, the bits that you've cut. If you're not going to hide them, then I would suggest that you um, use a trimmer because then there'll be much straighter edges. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so let's just trim that. I'm just going to make this into a little flag and and then that is going to go over there and so let's just move those over a bit stick them down Yeah, everyone's saying that this this is kind of it, it's making your eyes go weird. Your your brain isn't processing what it should do. It is it's playing tricks. So that's going on there like that. Let's get some dimensionals. over there like that and then let's oh mini 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 mo shall we go with this one yeah i think we will 
I need a little gem though. No. Yes. So I'm actually just going to put, so the reason I've put that gem on is so that I can put one of these little dimensionals on, but I'm still going to have to trim it down. So then this, what will happen is this snowflake will be at the same, <coughs> the same height as the sentiment, like that. There we go. So let me just, let me just show you. How that works. So you've got this swoop, but so easy to do, just cutting circles in half. So that's that's one way, and then there's a, there is another way. There is a second. Well, there there are hundreds of different ways you can you can chop this around in all sorts of different ways. But what I want to do is just to show you a, another way of kind of putting everything back together. So this time, I think we will go with that colour, I think. Yeah, I've got a bigger bit there, yeah. Okay, so this time I'm going to go with, um, that's Highland Heather. I'm just going to put an extra layer underneath. So let me just chop that down. And if you're wondering about the sizes of paper and cardstock that I'm cutting, I'm using all my standard sizes. And if you check on my YouTube channel, you will see um, that I have both in centimeters and in inches, I have um, a variety of templates and mats and layers. So you can work out exactly what size a layer you need. So that that works perfectly every time. Okay, so I'll just stick those together first. So obviously I've used dies um, for these cards, but you could equally use uh, punches. If you've got lots of different circle punches, that will work really well. And again, that's actually something that you can do kind of when you sat watching telly. Get your scraps of card and paper and just punch them all out. Right, I'm just having a slurp of my coffee. And shall we use the dark blue? No, I don't think we will. Okay, so we're going to go with the purple. Highland Heather. which way round we're going to go. So, we want do, 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 do. so we're going to have that one and that one. Then we are going to have that one. Gillian says she likes the paper. Yeah, it's lovely. It's Snowflake Splendor. Um, I think it's still available. It's one of the things that's retiring, um, but it is really pretty. So that's going to go there. And this one 
is gonna go there and then let's go with the white this time again so we're gonna go white underneath and white on top like that okay does that make your eyes go boggly as well so I'll stick this one down again so the way you just play with them I have to say is probably the easiest thing to do but when you're stacking them just stack them so that edges touch one another and then that will work more glue on me than on anything else at the moment. Ooh. Ooh, I'm to go there. I'm going to say, have I actually got a different Merry Christmas and I haven't got a different Merry Christmas up here? I want a skinnier one, but pop this down. I'm not going again. <laughs> I'm definitely not going back downstairs again. So that is going to stick like so. Let's have a look. Actually, we've got, I know Hanukkah's gone, uh, yes, hmm, I'm saying I know Hanukkah's gone, I'm thinking, I think Hanukkah's gone, um, but I will use this sentiment. Um, so, let me... Stamp this. Such a nice clear font. And this is this is one of my favourite ways of putting a sentiment on a card. Um, just by just by trimming it down with a pair of scissors um obviously you can use a punch and i would imagine that one of the label punches or the label dies will cut this out um but i think this just looks really pretty like this so this is actually going to be able to go over the top of those two circles what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pop that right to that edge and then I'm going to get my snowflake and pop that on the top as well. Oop. I need to stick those down first, that would help. My desk is so messy. Stuff everywhere. Toilet 
כן? to do exactly the same trick with uh, this that I did with the previous one so I've put that dimensional down there I'm just going to put it on at the same height as the sentiment and it just then it gives it a little bit of movement still and then I'm just going to put a gem right over the top so it's actually hidden, like so. So there you go. So let me just move some of this rubbish out of the way. So there's the second second card. Um, I'll bring them both back in in a second, but I just want to. show you again so let's just get the the logic <laughs> as it were so if you're using the larger circle so whichever colors you're using you need a set of color in the larger circles and in the smaller ones so they need to match but then you need two of the next size down and I can't do that because I don't have two the next size down so pretend that's <laughs> that's mint pretend that's mint and you've got two of those that's not very helpful is it when I take the picture <laughs> for my blog and I'll I'll put it on Instagram so it pops up on Facebook as well um, yeah you want two of the same color and then two different ones of the bigger and the smaller I hope that makes does that make sense does that make sense um, and you know you can play with this so much let me just chop these up because you can you can layer them so like on this one you could actually layer from like a solid so you could do this like so and then put a white one in the middle see what I mean so <laughs> you can play with all of the different ways of, of offsetting it um, and and starting out so starting out with it like this, you can even kind of go further out with it um, and go this way. So you can actually go like this and this. Let's just put a blue one on. Ooh. like so so you can chop it and just play with it all the time and I, I love circles it's, it's um it's it's fab circles are fab and actually for those of you that have been around, like me, for forever, as far as stamping up is concerned, 
we had a stamp set called Circle Circus years ago, years and years ago. And stamping up in this new catalogue that's coming out on the 5th of June, 5th of June, <laughs> no, 5th of January, has got a circle stamp set in it and it is beautiful. And yeah, you're, you're going to be sick of the sight of it because we're going to be using it a lot. Um, I love circles. Um, Jack is saying pinwheels. Yes, exactly. So you can um, also kind of offset your, your thing so you can actually build it up. So you can. do this kind of thing like that and obviously if you had a smaller gem or something in the center but obviously you can take that further because you can layer those like that look Ooh. let's see if this will that and you know you can you can layer up several to make a huge pinwheel it works really well so I as always I would love to see what you make um, actually I'm going to leave my circles in that shot um, I would love to see what you make. Um, it's it's a great thing to to see things pinging into my into my inbox, um, so that I can I can see your pictures. Or you can let me just stick that down. Or you can um, pop them into the Facebook group, which is the Inspiring Inking Crafting Corner. And that's a group that is open to everyone. Um, and you can come and hang out with us. And we share all sorts of crafting. Um, hints, tips, we share patterns, we share all sorts of things. So I would love to see you there. Um, you do have a couple of questions to answer um, to join the group so if you just go into Facebook and put inspiring inking crafting corner you um, yeah you have to answer two questions the first is what's your favorite craft and there is no wrong answer to that question and the second is will you follow the rules and the answer to that question needs to be yes um, basically we're a no selling group so um, everybody just shares and I request that everybody is kind but I know crafters are kind so um, nobody will have a problem agreeing to those those two things um, I am actually officially on holiday Hooray! Um, so although I am working on Tuesday so I am kind of checking in on my emails today and I will be putting this video and the pictures and things on my blog later. And then next Tuesday, obviously I will be here for Craft and Chat. And um, I will be teaching Craft Along, which is in the Inspiring Inking Crafting Corner next Tuesday evening as well. So I hope that you have enjoyed the projects today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me again. Um, I will just check on these messages. Let's have a look. Lots of thank yous. Jackie's saying it can look like a bauble. Um, oh, Sarah's saying it looks like Pokemon balls and pinwheels. Um, by Barbara and saying it's an interesting idea and good for men's cards absolutely um, I always say that a good geometric design is a great design for a ma men's cards um, so that'd be really good to, to see that 
um oh thank you lots of saying thank you thank you so much um for hanging out with me i will see you all after christmas have a good christmas have a restful christmas and do come and see me next tuesday at two um for another craft and chat thank you so much take care bye bye